What's good, bro? What's up, bro? How you doing? Chilling. And what's some advice that you'll give me just going through the process, going through minor league ball and everything like that? You're going to be you, bro. You're going to ball. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I try to remember every time I step out here. Like, I'm going to just go out there, swing for it, go for it, do whatever I want because it's how I play baseball. When you go to sign that contract, bro, a lot of people will tell you, like, ah, oh, like, it's just, like, life-changing. But, bro, when you really do it, and, like, you hear life-changing, but when you feel life-changing, it's a whole different feeling, bro. As we know, the number of African Americans in baseball is continuing to dwindle, but there's this new wave that's coming into baseball. I've not seen this many African American kids at the top of the ledger in many years. There's always been a culture in baseball for African American players, but I think you see our players in the game now and embracing who they are, and that's promoted and accepted across the industry. Jason Jones. Look, look at this kid, look at him. Some of the best raw power in this entire prep class. Austin, a grand slam and a 6 nothing lead. Full count, swing and a miss, Austin got him. We all know his dad, Carl. Justin Crawford could win gold gloves someday in center field. There's some very projectable power in this young man as he begins to fill. Tomorrow's maybe the first pick in the draft. Nobody ever messed with these mechanics. You look in the Hall of Fame, man, they all in the bands like that. We're going to be ushering in a brand new generation. We're going to really make baseball America's pastime again. The Louboutins, they, they, they wouldn't, they're too blingy. They got too spikes, blingy. they got silver. You got, got the shine. spike ones? You yeah. ever seen my Louboutins? He's got spike Louboutins? No way Brody has spike. Please, wait, please. wait, wait, wait. You haven't seen no that? You guys I'm were messing with me. Right now. I, I thought you guys were messing with me. You'd actually see The spike Louboutins, that's a crazy one. So it's the black spikes yeah. on the front. It's the well, silver I, glitter on the side. aggressive, side. dog. Red bottom. That was aggressive. I like it. So when it comes to draft day, I mean, this is, you know, it's like Christmas for every single MLB organization. These advisors slash agents, they're communicating between the organizations and then between the player and his families. And they're trying to figure out, all right, where is this guy going to fall? Can we find a landing spot that fits all of the things that we have in our checklist from financial, from the fit, and all the way down to, all right, will this player actually sign? But every player, they know their strengths and weaknesses better than anyone else. Their parents understand them. It's really about the calculated risk that they're willing to take. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like getting your hair white right either, but Uncle Tim doesn't either. Not enough. Uh oh, now we're going with the hot sauce. Oh. Oh, thank you. Tabasco. Dang, I didn't know it was like this. I like hot sauce. Here's the thing though. I can't even eat nothing, bro. I really can't. I am. Okay, okay. I'll take a nibble of something a little bit. You get into professional baseball, and that's just your starting point. You guys are the future of the game, and the future is extremely bright. I've seen you guys play, I've seen a bunch of you guys play, and it's incredible. Take advantage of this opportunity, and thank you.
So how how do you like uh, Vanderbilt so far? Uh, I like it. I like the just the environment, uh, like where it is in the city, like the food and stuff. It's just it's all it's all good, and it's in the middle of like everything. So I know a lot of people are gonna be at the games. That's kind of what I look forward to. Somewhere for MLB, I, I emailed, tell him I was taking my name out of the draft and told him to, you know, communicate that to all 30 teams. And I, mean, I honestly wanted to go to college and, you know, develop because I know I could be way better than I am uh, coming out of high school, going to minor league ball. And minor league ball is a grind. And, you know, I'm ready for a grind like that. But, you know, college is, I'd rather be playing baseball, having fun in front of fans and, you know, just go to college first, get developed and, you know, show MLB like why wow, I should be one of those top picks. Welcome to the 2022 MLB Draft. What a beautiful venue we have in Los Angeles, LA Live, right near Crypto.com Arena, the home of the Lakers. This is big time, folks. Holy water. Yeah. Eat it. Stay protected, you know what I mean? Holy water. All right. I'm going to see how my life's about to change, man. Excited to see the players that are in attendance here tonight. I want to introduce you to those young men. Uh, Justin Crawford, of course, you know Carl Crawford, his dad, the multi all star. Justin's one of the most impressive overall athletes in this draft class. Perhaps the fastest player in the entire draft. And one of the biggest personalities here in attendance, Termar Johnson, in the mix to go number one. He's considered one of the best pure prep hitters in decades. Perhaps the best since Joe Maurer in 2001. Uh, the draft in person was, it was awesome, man. My whole entire family, you know, I think they couldn't really, you know, a lot of people couldn't sleep. We were all uh, a little nervous. You'll throw the jersey on over your head. The top button will be unbuttoned and the bottom button will be unbuttoned. It's a little hectic. You know, a lot is moving. You never really have that full 100% guarantee that you'll be here or you'll be there. You know, a lot of things can happen. I actually thought about staying home for a little while. I didn't though, just because, you know, I watched the guys that came before me. Anybody nervous? Everybody nervous. Everybody nervous. You know what I'm saying? This is your day. You guys are already Hollywood. There's more cameras here today than I've ever seen. For the third time in franchise history, the Orioles have the number one pick. Moments ago, Tremar Johnson, who's in the mix to be the number one player taken, had this phone call. He had to get up and walk off the couch. Interesting. Oh, Greg. Honestly, the draft was probably one of the most stressful things I've ever had to go through. Draft day, I was at my parents' house in Indianapolis. It was nerve wracking. Now it's time to go to the podium, say hello to baseball commissioner Rob Manfred for his opening comments. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of Major League Baseball, we welcome you to the 2022 draft. I'd like to thank all the distinguished guests here representing our 30 clubs. And I especially want to welcome the young men who have joined us tonight in Los Angeles. And now we turn the 2022 draft over to the Baltimore Orioles, who have the first selection. With the first pick, the Baltimore Orioles select Jackson Holiday, a shortstop from Stillwater High School in Stillwater, Oklahoma. I mean, Tony, there's so much talent here to pick from. Who jumps off the screen if you're the Diamondbacks number two? You know, I think Drew Jones has maybe got the highest ceiling, but I fall back on uh, kind of my, my affinity for Tamar. I mean, he's a can't-miss guy, in my opinion, as it relates to what he brings to the locker room, the dugout, and, of course, on the field, too. With the second pick in the 2022 MLB draft, the Arizona Diamondbacks select Drew Jones. So Drew Jones goes number two. He was in the mix to be number one. Back to the podium. The Rangers are selecting at number three. With the third pick of the 2022 MLB draft, the Texas Rangers select Kamar Rocker. Wow, yeah, that's, that's crazy. 
That is crazy. That's awesome. The six foot five, two hundred forty five pound right hand. The Pittsburgh Pirates have the next selection. The Pittsburgh Pirates now on the clock inside their draft room, and they have so many options. Tamar Johnson is still available. He's here. Uh, let's go to the podium. With the fourth pick in the 2022 MLB draft, the Pittsburgh Pirates select Tamar Johnson. Yes, sir. From Mays High School in Atlanta. An emotional moment for this young man. Grabbing the Pirates uniform. How does this feel now that you're finally here and you're wearing that jersey? I just feel ready to play baseball again. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. You're ready to work hard on the field. You also want people to know that you're an excellent student. Why is that so important to you? Um, I just want people to know that I'm more just a baseball player. I'm a student. I'm a scholar athlete. I'm everything. I want, I, I want to do, I want to excel at everything, man. I, and, and I plan on doing that for the rest of my life. No matter what I do in life, I'm going to do it to the best of my abilities. I never want to quit on myself. For all those Pirates fans watching at home, what are they getting in Tamar Johnson? They're getting the best player in the draft. Longest, shortest time ever. The longest, the longest, minutes yes. Like the longest yeah. time ever. All right. You know, hearing my name called was, was awesome. Feeling like no other. Knowing that you get, you get an opportunity to, you know, have a professional career. You know, hearing my name called was, man, I knew it was the start of a journey. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Go Pittsburgh. <laughs> That was a moment with our Jordy, Jason. Oh. Yeah, he was outstanding fish of the year. With People are gonna think something's really, really wrong so with you. When so you do cool. that, he I taunt so you about this in your behavior. He was not stealing 12 bags. At least if he did, he would caught like at least 10 of them, right? With the 11th pick of the 2022 MLB draft, the New York Mets select Kevin Parada, a catcher from Georgia Tech. With the 12th pick of the 2022 MLB Draft, the Detroit Tigers, the Los Angeles Angels, the New York Mets, the San Diego Padres, the Cleveland Guardians select Chase DeLauder. I was slotted at a certain spot, and I thought that I was gonna go at that spot, and I was like, oh, that's, that's gonna be cool. Like, I'm probably gonna go within this range certain picks, different picks and everything like that went around. And throughout that time, I'm just sitting there, I'm like, am I about to go to, am I about to go to college? And so all this stuff is racing through my head. I think, honestly, Jason has a different perspective on a lot of things because he's just a competitor and he recognizes that, yeah, last year he was a top five, like in the top 10. He knew things could change at any time. I think we're, there's some frustration. No, yeah, I, I think the reality is you watch players go by, it's like, you know, how, how'd that kid go? Like, how'd that player go? And I think the best way to handle that is um, internalize it and, and use it as motivation. As an athlete and a competitor, he's now pissed off and ready to go show him. And that's what you've got to be in order to make it one day. That's a champion mentality. And I'm older now, I've done my, I was a competitive person like that, so I know when his mind is, every time a name gets called, that's just one more person he's thinking is gonna regret that they didn't call him. And he's gonna go show them. Right. For sure. A little bit about that? You know, um, it's going to teach you a lot about life. It's going to teach you a lot about baseball. So always be a student, just like you're a student of the game. Be a student. Be a student in the classroom also. Yes, right? For sure. Thank you. Uh, you guys be safe. Of course, of course. With the 17th pick.
the Philadelphia Phillies select Justin Crawford, an outfielder from Bishop Gorman High School. <laughs> we all know his dad, Carl, a star player for the Tampa Bay Rays, also played for other clubs, Boston Red Sox and Dodgers. Congratulations. Thank you so you know, much. You got a great organization. Thank you so much. Thank you. Justin Crawford, 6'3", 175 pounds, elite speed, could win gold gloves someday in center field, according to scouts. His numbers this year hit over 500, 60 runs scored, 20 bags, 816 slug, 42 games. And he's sitting next to Lauren Gardner. Lauren, take it away. What did your dad say to you? <laughs> whole bunch of just different emotions. He's just like, he's really proud of me. And you can't really say a lot, but he's just really happy. And just without him, I don't know where I would be at. He was taken in the second round. How does it feel to have those bragging rights as well? <laughs> oh, it definitely feels a lot. It feels amazing, you know, being able because we're, as a family, we're just so competitive. So, you know, finally be able to kind of just hold that over his head a little bit. <laughs> that would be nice to be able to be able to have. Yes, it will. Congratulations, my friend. Go soak it all in. The draft, oh my goodness, I just like lost it. I was like freaking out. This is absurd. I can't believe it. It was one of the coolest things. I looked around, it was like all the people that I loved in one room together. And I was like, I wouldn't want this any other way. Congrats, bud. Congrats. 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 Right in front of here, in front of the backdrop, we'll let media kind of circle around, and then once we got a good group, you we'll... look at roster construction and building a championship team up the middle, they've got their future Gold Glove well, center. I, I also like the fact he's from Las Vegas. Who's from there? Bryce Harper. He's going to work out with Bryce in the winter. I mean, that's what happens, and Bryce will take this kid under his wing, and I think because of that, the offense is going to take off for him a little bit more. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was, man, especially when we started getting like that 13 range. I said, man, what's going on? I said, man, what's going on? Oh, wait, it's like when you're sitting down there, you think your name just never going to get called. It was the second year of the All-Star City hosting the MLB draft. Day one is complete, and what a night it was outside at LA Live. Is it hard to sit here and watch? I. Anyone that tells you different, they're lying. There's a million kids sitting at home right now when they hear their name called. We're no different. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of mixed emotions that I got going on right now. Just kind of waiting to hear my name called. I'm a little nervous, a little disappointed, a little pissed off, a little bit of everything. I know myself and I know the type of player that I am. And unfortunately, I went through a little bit of those tough times. But uh, I know a lot of the dudes that got kind of picked ahead of me, I know for a fact that I go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them any any single second of the day, no matter what. Yeah, I mean, you're super excited for the guys you, you you know you grew up with playing or played against, but, you know, for me, I always looked at the guys' positions that played the same position as me that went before me, and, and I knew every single one that went before me, and that was something that I kept in my mind um, every day. Like, every day I knew you. And so when I played against them, like, it was always a thing for me to beat them. Day two, rounds three through 10. Coverage begins two o'clock Eastern time, about a minute between each pick. No worries. No worries, congratulations. congratulations. Seeing Tamar, you know, I grew up with him since I was young, so just seeing him, he didn't make his dream come true is just a blessing for me, because, you know, we, we've been working at it all year, all these last past couple years, just working, always working to get there. And Drew, you know, I've been, been with him since I was like 14, 15. Uh, so that's my boy, so I was happy to see him out there. Elijah, he's my boy too. Cam Carter, all those guys who got called uh, early, you know, those guys. You know, they texted in our little group chat that we have, you know, congratulating each other and all the success that we've been through and just like, kind of memorizing on the time that we had before the draft when we worried about anything, just got their plan. Tomorrow, hey, this is Ben Sherrington of the Pirates. How you doing, man? Doing great, man. How are you doing? I'm great. Hey, we are we are thrilled, excited to, to draft you. Um, really appreciate who you are as a person and as a player. Can't wait to work with you. You're gonna look very good in black and gold. I appreciate you for the opportunity. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to see my teammates. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It went really well. You know, we were excited about today. We work really hard. There's a mixture of excitement and a little bit of anxiety as you're getting closer to the first pick and then you know thrilled that Termar was there at four um, got to know him really well and he's an exciting 
young player and just a great personality. We're looking forward to seeing him black and gold. Thank you, Keith. Welcome everyone to day two of the 2022 MLB Draft. We are live at LA Live in the JW Marriott lobby watching a very locked in draft room for the Baltimore Orioles and the Pittsburgh Pirates. The first two picks of You know, I always said to me, baseball is probably one of the easier sports to get drafted in but it's the hardest to get to the show in because there's so much red tape, so many levels you have to go through. You gotta have some luck. You gotta have some people that like you. They like you, they're gonna push you, push you through the system. So Jason set his number high. He ain't gonna, he's not gonna steer off of it. If a team is able to give him that type of money and they want him for that, he'll go. If not, then we'll go to Arkansas and we'll do it again in 25. We've always had an idea that we had a five-year plan. Whether you go all five in the minors or three in college and two in the minors, being a big leaguer for a long time is what the goal was. And there's a lot that he still needs to learn. And I kind of look at the pros and cons of college and in the minor leagues. I know it's not easy to hear this. There were some teams that, that were really interested. They just they couldn't get anywhere near your number. Yeah. Uh... Like we said from the beginning, um, we, we've held to our ground, uh, know my word, and uh, but I, I think we should just pull it. I think I should just pull my name. Last night was hard, but I know that to, I woke up today yeah. feeling 10 times better. Let's go Arkansas and uh, let everybody know. Yeah, look, look, there's no, there's no question, man. Like step number one, I think it would be nice for, for Arkansas to hear from you. Definitely. You know? That you're that you're pumped up to to go to school and you know be fired up for that. What's up, Jason? Hey, what's up, Coach Thompson? How you doing? Okay, man. How are you? Uh, we're doing good. Uh, just got off the phone with my advisor. Uh, uh, we were just talking for a little bit, and uh, he just kind of gave me a little bit of information and telling me that uh, I stay true to myself and I stay true to my number and. Uh, uh, unfortunately, the teams couldn't make it, but uh, I'm just saying, man, I'm I'm psyched. I'm ecstatic to come to Arkansas. Uh, I'm gonna pull my name uh, from this year's draft, and uh, hey, I can't wait. I can't wait to get to work. Yes. Sir. Yeah. <laughs> Who picks it? <laughs> You know, my suggestion is just go be you. There's not a better version of anything when you're you're the Jason that we know you are. Come back to us the same way you've been, because we sure love you. You're welcome. Love you, Kevin. Love you. You know I'm gonna miss you too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna miss the grinds, and it's kind of bittersweet. You know, you leave it, but. He'll call me a lot, so <laughs> I don't have to miss too much, because we already know that. Your brother yeah, calls me five times a day. Sure. He'll call me as much. <laughs> Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, don't worry. Enjoy it, right? We'll keep this number for long. That's all you need. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've never been so happy in my life. Never. Justin, 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 Put my own swing and everything like that. It's kind of cool. It, it, it's really cool. It's really cool. <laughs> well, this one from that same team from here, but it's all it is right now. So it was great. What up? You got taller. Uh huh. You'll be talking to me. Yep. No, you're not. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I switch it up. I switch it up for you. I'll say how incredibly proud I am of this young man. I know a lot of people know how great he is as a baseball player, but when I say he's a mom's dream, he truly is, and I thank you so much for that. Hey. Playing, throwing the first pitch out, beating SpongeBob, talking with BJ out there. I don't know what I was talking about, but I know I drew something. I, I, I was talking his head off. Good times. Oh, yeah. What goes see. next, boo? What goes next? Oh, we. Come on. Next year? I mean, hopefully we get some pictures of me and me and high, high next year. That's, there that's you the go. goal, right? Call it. Call uh, it. And then, uh, and then as a few years go by in the big leagues, and uh, after that, a few more years go by, mm -hmm. Hall of Fame speech will be in there or something. <laughs> Call it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a goal, man. Bro, how you feel, bro? Like, actually, how do you feel getting your first professional hit, bro? Like, me personally, if I was pitching, you wouldn't done that, but hey, I'm just saying. You know. The pitch. Johnson swings, rolls one to short. Backhanded by Kasovich on a diving stop, but no play anywhere. Tamar Johnson has his first single A hit. Tamar doing his thing, going with the Pirates. You know, we're both in Florida right now, so it's cool being able to kind of have someone out there knowing that, you know, there's someone right there with you going through the same exact thing. So we've kind of talked on the phone, talked over text message about just, you know, just pro ball and just making it through it together. All over the game, you know, you see different paths. So it's the relationships you make with people, you know, meeting teammates and, and having their back and them, they having yours. Like everybody has their own path and somebody's path may look easier than from someone else's, but it's all about we all got the same goal and trying to get the same place. It doesn't matter how you get there, it's just about getting there. Everybody's excited to see what this next wave of talent has to show. Battle select number 1154, George Kenneth Griffey, center field. The Cubs are proud to announce the signing of our first round selection and the country's first round selection, Sean Dunstan. Round number 1157, Mabia, S-A-B-A-T-H-I-A, Carson G.